arithmetic progressions nth term of an arithmetic progression that is ap nth term of an arithmetic progression sum of first n terms of an ap nth term of an arithmetic progression this is an ap minus 1.0 Minus one point five, minus two point zero, minus two point five, and so on. Now, if we start to count its term, we can count only up to fourth term. Suppose we have to find out its eighth term. Now, can we find out? For that, we need a help of first two successive terms. From these terms, we get. A is equal to minus one point zero, and D is equal to minus zero point five. What is AP's second term? AP's second term is minus one point five. And how did we get this? Minus one point zero plus into bracket minus zero point five. Now, as we know, we denote first term as A one is equal to A. Second term as a two, therefore a two is equal to a plus d. We can write it as a two is equal to a plus one into d. Now observe here that the multiplier of d is less than one of the term number of the term we have to find out. This is also can be write it as a two is equal to a plus Into bracket two minus one d. This can also be written as. What is AP's third term? AP's third term is minus two point zero. And how did we get this? Minus one point zero plus into bracket minus zero point five plus into bracket minus zero point five. Now, as we know. We denote first term as a and third term as a three. Therefore, a three is equal to a plus into bracket d plus d. We can write it as a three is equal to a plus two d. Here too, the multiplier of d, that is two. Is less than one of the term number of the term we have to find out. Therefore, a three can be written as a three is equal to a plus into bracket three minus one d. In this way, when we reach up to eighth term, that is a eight, a eight will be a plus into bracket eight minus one d. Therefore, eighth term of this AP will be minus one point zero plus into bracket eight minus one into bracket minus zero point five is equal to minus four point five. As we find eighth term by a eight is equal to a plus into bracket eight minus one d. To find nth term, we need to just replace eight by n. And we get a n is equal to a plus into bracket n minus one d. Therefore, the nth term of a n of the A P with first term a and common difference d can be easily find out by the formula a n is equal to a plus into bracket n minus one d, where n is equal to One, two, three, four, and so on. A n is also called the general term of the A P. If there are m terms in the A P, then A m represents the last term, which is sometimes also denoted by L. Sum of first n terms of an AP. Gosh, a mathematician. A problem was given to him to solve when he was just ten years old. 
he was asked to find the sum of the positive integers from 1 to 100. He immediately replied that the sum is 5050. Can you guess how did he do? He wrote S is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on plus 99 plus 100 and then reverse the numbers to write S is equal to 100 plus 99 plus 98 and so on plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. Adding these two he got 2S is equal to 100 plus 1 plus 99 plus 2 plus and so on plus 3 plus 98 plus 2 plus 99 plus 1 plus 100. As a result he got 100 plus 1 101 99 plus 2 is equal to 101 up to 100 times. So S is equal to 100 into 101 divided by 2 is equal to 5050. That is, the sum of positive integers from 1 to 100 is equal to 5050. We will now use the same technique to find the sum of the first n terms of an AP. A, A plus D, A plus 2D and so on. The n term of this AP will be A plus into bracket n minus 1 d. Let s denote the sum of the first n terms of the AP. We have s is equal to a plus into bracket a plus d plus a plus 2d plus and so on plus a plus into bracket n minus 1 d. We consider it as first sum. Rewriting the terms in reverse order, we have S is equal to A plus N minus 1 D plus A plus N minus 2 D and so on plus into bracket A plus D plus A. We consider it as second sum on adding first and two term wise. We get S is equal to n upon 2 into bracket 2a plus into bracket n minus 1 d as there are n terms. So, the sum of the first n terms of an AP is given by s is equal to n upon 2 into bracket 2a plus into bracket n minus 1 d. We can also write S is equal to N upon 2 into bracket A plus A plus into bracket N minus 1 D. As S is equal to N upon 2 into bracket A plus A N since A N is equal to A plus into bracket N minus 1 D. Now if there are only N terms in an AP then a n will be L. The last term therefore S is equal to N upon 2 into bracket A plus L. We can use S n in place of S to denote the sum of first n terms of the A P. If we know any three of S, A, D and N, we can find the fourth term. The nth term of an AP is the difference of the sum to first n term and the sum to first n minus 1 terms of an AP that is a n is equal to s n minus s n minus 1. Summary In an AP with first term a and common difference d, the nth term or the general term is given by a n is equal to a plus into bracket n minus 1 d. The sum of the first n terms of an AP is given by s is equal to n upon 2 into bracket 2 a plus into bracket n minus 1 d. 
if L is the last term of the finite AP, say the nth term, then the sum of all terms of the AP is given by S is equal to N upon 2 into bracket A plus L. So that is all about this topic. Let us summarize what we have learned in this learning object. So that is all about this lesson. Learning is fun.